Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the Lowrider STL Diablo. I hope you're enjoying the video. So let's get into this. Today I went to a uh, I went to get tires from my truck, right? And I have a little time to kill before work. So I decided to go to the Harley dealership to go get a new pair of gloves because I needed new gloves anyway. Lo and behold, they have a El Diablo there. A lowrider STFX R S T L D W Diablo. <laughs> Dude, that thing looks amazing. Diablo, the paint job on that thing is spectacular when I tell you. It's, uh, it's really cool. Really, really, really cool. It's above cool. Not spectacular, but it's above cool for sure. Like really good. I like it. I love it. I like the shading of the orange into the reds. The Harley Davidson em emblem with the, the horn sticking out and the tail. Oh, Taurus. That's the meaning behind my emblem with a Toro. Taurus. Taurus. So I was I was really every time I look at those low rider STs, I I like them more and more. Um, this is actually my third video on the low rider STs. I'm gonna post my first thoughts and impressions of that video of the lowrider ST here yeah so and then the uh, you know the risers for the bars they're, yeah. they're all coated like the, the motor that black wrinkle stuff it looks like oh. it looks like bed liner and I'm like that's stupid that's ugly right and then the gauges have it too and I'm like oh like I don't know that was a big turn off for me I think they tried too hard I think <laughs> like why would you put bed liner on the handlebars? <laughs> Not only that, I could see if it was what even though it still looks like shit regardless, but I could see if it was this little fairing on it. You know, you don't want it to maybe chip uh -huh. or get hit. But it's, it's got a huge fucking fairing all over it, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. I don't know. It was still well, So that would have to get it changed. Fucks. As soon as I was looking at it, I'm like, alright. I immediately started thinking, all right, dollar signs, that's going to get changed, this is going to get changed, the exhaust needs no. to get changed. <laughs> See, I wouldn't buy it if I don't have to change that much, or don't like that much, you know? Yeah. I mean, granted, I did, I, that's exactly what I did on my bike, but, but just coming out of the factory, ugly looking. <laughs> yeah. Now my thoughts on the El Diablo, right? So the El Diablo, man, it's a great looking bike. But I believe, I'm gonna mention this again, I can't remember exactly my first um, thoughts on the, uh, my first impressions on the uh, Lowrider ST. But I can tell you that I do not like those handlebars, those risers, do not like that. I know it's a simple 
thing to swap out. So the El Diablo, right? I feel it's got an amazing paint job, right? The first low rider ST that I seen, I wasn't a fan of the uh, the gunship gray or whatever color gray that is on the L on the uh, ST. I don't know why that color did not do justice for me. Didn't do justice for that bike. I feel like Harley Davidson needs to expand the colors on these bikes instead of just that black and gray. I don't know, not for me. The bronze wheels, um, definitely for me, did not look good on the low rider. It, for some reason, it looks good on the uh, road glide and the street glide, but not on the low rider. I don't know why, to me, in my eyes, in my opinion, it doesn't look good. Now the red, the El Diablo with those wheels, to me, look amazing. That, that's a great color combination to put together. For the low rider, um, the price point on the uh, low rider STFXLR um, Diablo is um, it's a bit much, I think. I know it's going to be a collector's edition. I was talking to this girl, I think her name was Tiffany, I forget, I'll post her name on there. We were at Battleship Harley Davidson, she was super cool. She just moved up here from Florida, so if you come up this way and you want to go look at that Lowrider ST El Diablo, it's at Battleship Harley Davidson in North Dartmouth, Massachusetts. I didn't ask for a ticket for a test ride, um, she didn't offer it either. But she, she was an awesome, awesome person. She was talking to me. Um, I'm not going to disclose the price point on that bike. You, that's up to, if you guys want to talk to Harley Davidson, go there, go talk to them. Um, I can tell you that there does seem to be a markup on it. Um, like everything else, there's a markup on cars too. So the um, there is a markup on the bike. Right? I asked, they didn't tell me if they did anything else to the bike but from what I can tell it looks pretty much what the factory how the factory would send it out there was a couple of things that I thought were aftermarket on the bike so I asked them if that was aftermarket and they said no they said that was the way that the bike came and they didn't point out if there was any aftermarket stuff done to it um, they didn't point out and I asked a, a few things, but nothing was nothing done on the aftermarket on the bike. It does come with the Ross, Rock Ford, Rossgate, Rockford, Rockford, whatever sound system that they have. Um, to me, that's a whatever, because I probably wouldn't use it. Um, it's a, definitely a really cool bike. Would I love to own one? Absolutely. And would I ever trade my bike in for, for that? Absolutely not. Why? Because that might be like a collector's edition. And the girl that I was talking to, she she was like, oh, this is the type of bike that you take out on the weekends once in a while and you put it away. You don't want to rack up miles on those things. And I, my bike's a 2015 Street Bob with over 20,000 miles already. I know to some of you, that's like, that's it. I know people that do 5,000 mile trips. And, but that wouldn't be a bike for that, I guess. I, uh, I, I, I probably wouldn't want to anyway. Let's put it that way. Because I, I would probably be one of those little freaks that would um, want to just store it and take it out for shows and trailer it everywhere, maybe. Now the Lowrider ST, my thoughts on it originally have changed. I did not like the gray. I did not at all. I did not like the gray on that bike. The gray has grown on me, right? It's growing on me. I'm still not in love with it. I, don't, I still don't love it like I do the El Diablo. The way I feel seems to um, not go according to all of the other YouTubers videos, you know, they all say that, oh, the road glides are better riding a motorcycle because it cuts through the wind and 
yada 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 the weights on the fit on the frame and not on the thank you she just flashed me i think there's a pop on my head we'll see if we can pull it over but to me the street glides up it's a it's a it's a better handling bit more fun bike to ride the low rider i've never ridden the low rider so i have i can't really say how it feels i've sat on them um it definitely does feel like a big bike I do love the way it feels when I sit on it. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for future content. And um, let me know your thoughts and opinions on these bikes. And I'll tell you what, the El Diablo looks much better in person than it does on YouTube. I tried getting a good video of it. I'm gonna try not to do any color editing on that so I can get the true colors of what the iPhone can do because I use my iPhone. And um, we'll go from there. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification for you to check out that and I'll talk to you guys later.